Hey, I'm Toby Patok and I'm gonna show you how to do my favorite recipe for saffron and cardamom poached pears. First thing we'll do is take some orange juice, pop that straight into our pot. I've got some maple syrup. The maple syrup I'm putting in place of sugar. This recipe is also plant-based too. I've got some white wine. And now we're gonna add the aromatics into there. So I've got some cinnamon quills. I'll put two of those and the saffron, which works absolute magic. Once we bring this up to the simmer, the whole liquid takes on the color of the saffron. Then we get the pears into there, which take on that beautiful, vibrant color. So saffron goes in. My favorite spice of the decade, cardamom. The cardamom, I'm gonna give a little bit of a crush, but I don't wanna release the seeds. Once you've got all those ingredients in there, we can top up with some water. I'm gonna pop that onto the stove, bring it up to a gentle simmer. Okay, while that's happening, we can get the pears ready. So these are beautiful, very firm pears. I'm gonna leave the cores in. You guys can always take them out if you wish to. I'm just gonna take the outer skin off and then we can get them into the syrup. Okay, that liquid, I can hear it. It's come up to the simmer. So now with these peel pears, can really carefully lower them in. These pots are super versatile. I can cook this in the oven at 220 degrees. I'll flip the pears over at about the halfway mark, which will be about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, looking good. These have been cooking for about 30 to 40 minutes. You're gonna see in a moment the big reveal. They look really, really incredible. You can basically serve them individually with my favorite creme fraiche, but you can also, as I am right here on a big platter family style. Serve this up with loads of the syrup and the saffron. Make sure you get all the aromatics from the bottom of the pot there, and that's all there is to it.